Welcome again, Empire fans, to the next episode of the Rise of the Russian Bear campaign. This is First Centurion 753. Uh, I lost track of what episode this is, but um, let's see, looking at the scenario, I know we've made peace with Sweden. Some of their armies are moving back towards Stockholm, away from our border, and towards uh, Finland. So that's good. They have a large amount of soldiers. Huge numbers for Sweden. I don't know how they acquired these numbers. They must be taxing their people to death, basically. I don't know. That's pretty high. 15%? Eh, that's not too high. And they're even still growing in wealth in Finland. Amazing. Okay. That we don't have an eye on that capital. Um, I apologize for some of the uh, gaps in the audio for some of these uh, past episodes. What I found out is that I uh, was in danger of infringing on copyright violations for some of these songs. So I had to remove them from those episodes before I was able to publish them. So got rid of the Total War Empire background and I'll be installing my own background music to this episode and to the episodes from now on. So whatever you're hearing right now, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but this is music that I decided to put in. Okay, before we end turn, I did have some strategy notes here that I wanted to try to implement. Uh, for diplomacy, I am going to go ahead and try to establish another trade route. Another trade agreement, and we're going to go with England. Okay, we have a northern port right there in the Baltic Sea. Establishing a trade route with England will bring income, one of the uh, larger income producing trade countries. Um, also, we will establish good relations with them and hopefully sideline them just in case there is another war with Sweden. They have good relations with Sweden. They are not allied with them right now, but they have a trade agreement so that they might want to go to war with us. If war breaks out with Sweden again. So let's see if we can get a trade agreement. Yes! Nice! That worked out well. How much money are we making now? How do you like me now? Trade Empire, 580, that's good. 580, and there's our trade route, beautiful, beautiful. England's making even more money off that trade route, 824, wow. Still don't know what the formula is exactly for that, how that works. If anyone knows, feel free to share below. Offer your insights as far as the trading formulas of um, Total War Empire. I know we've got some, we're sending them some fur, they're probably sending us some other resources, so that probably impacts it. Okay, so that's a check mark there under the uh, Great Britain trade route. The next thing I wanted to try before I end this turn is we have a new nation, Afghanistan. Afghanistan has emerged in India. Uh, I think they took over after the Persian Empire fell. Um, we're friendly. That's good. They're friendly with pretty much everybody, except for Denmark and England. Interesting. Why those two? Um, I was hoping they would be unfriendly with Georgia. And if they were, I was going to trade them uh, some, some technology. If they were hostile with Georgia, but they're not. So maybe I won't trade them some technology. I'll wait to see what happens. If war breaks out between them and Georgia, then I'll go ahead and uh, give them technology. I can still offer some trade routes here. France is another country that is aligned with Sweden. And we don't want them lining up against us either. They're allied with Poland-Lithuania. Um, they only have one, a negative two on um, historical grievances. France would be another country to have a good trade relationship. And that would, we would have access to that trade through the, uh, the Baltic Seaport here. Let's see if this works. Let's more money. 
Yes! Another trade agreement! We are kicking butt on the trade market. Elizabeth I. Unbelievable. That's going to bring in a huge amount of wealth. Six hundred fifty-nine. Hmm. We may want to consider investing in our fur trading posts now that we're bringing in more wealth. I don't want to invest in well, that one. We can't invest in because we don't have it. We've got options down here. Hmm. There's one. Low yield. Low yield. Those are options. We'll have to consider that. How much would it cost? Twenty-five hundred. Ugh. That's 13 more trade, 13 more fur pelts, times 11, 13 times 11, let's write that down, oh boy, that is 153 per turn, but I wonder if, does that go to, yeah, it gets divided. 53 per turn divided by 2500 that's really not worth it at this point all right so we'll hold off on that for a while we need some different resources okay so we got trade agreements um, what else did I want to do offer Poland Lithuania oh this is an interesting idea okay we have our situation here in the south with the Ottoman Empire. I'm trying to end the war with the Ottoman Empire. It's, it's costing us money here with the town watch, with Istanbul. Uh, it also is distracting some of our troops. I'd rather deploy these troops in the Ukraine and Crimea. If I had them in the Ukraine, they would be closer to uh, supporting the Swedish front. In case Sweden declares war again. If I had them in Crimea, they would also be closer to move north, or in case of a war with Dagestan, we'd have them right there. Again, the relationship with Dagestan, you know, we're friendly with them. We have a lot of guys lined up on that border, which makes me nervous. We can still go for another trade agreement. Oh my god, who else could we grab? Can't get any of these Mediterranean guys. Prussia. Should I trade with Prussia? They're still at war with Poland Lithuania. Let's try to make the deal with Poland Lithuania first, and then we'll trade with Russia. Okay, the deal is Poland Lithuania. I am going to offer uh, two provinces Romelia and Moldovia. Both of them were previously Ottoman provinces that the Ottomans might want back. It looks like they do want Moldovia back because they are. They have some religious efforts there. They're converting the population. 53% Islam. And that's probably hurting us. That's probably adding to our town watch as well. The cost of our town watch. And this is 50-50. And there's still these buildings that we'd have to repair. And you know what? It would be better to move those troops somewhere else. And if we gave them Moldova, if they took that province, then we would no longer have a border with the Ottomans. So, I don't know if they're going to accept this, but Poland and Lithuania, very friendly, good. We're going to make, we're going to offer them a deal. All right, we're going to offer them Romelia and Moldova. Both of those provinces, in exchange for Belarus, because Belarus is one of our objectives. It's right there and it will just make it easier in the future to acquire all our objectives. We still have to get Poland and Lithuania uh, before this campaign is over. But if we can grab Belarus, then we will be closer to the objective. So, here's the deal. Will you take it? It's be a huge benefit to us, even though we're, give even though we're giving up two provinces. Wow, they're much wealthier than those two provinces. It's not going to work. Nope. There it is. <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe I can give them some technology. Let's try that one more time. Offer 
for those two. Is there any technology we can give them? I'll give them both of these technologies, and then I'll open up a trade route with Prussia. Nope. Yeah, those provinces just aren't worth it. Okay, scratch that idea. Last idea was... To take this rake. We don't really need him. Oh, do we need him? If we're going to be continuing the war, we might still need him in the south. I'm going to put him right there at that ford on the Danube so they could, he could cross over if need be. Yeah. That's a ford, a river crossing. Not a bridge, uh, but a place where the ground, uh, the depth of the river is not that high. Okay, well, a couple things worked out, a couple ideas did not work out. Ending turn. This is turn 29. Going into turn... I he got across the bridge. Going into turn 30. It's the summer of 1714. Again, I lost track of the episodes at this point. I will catch up soon. I'll be able to tell you what episode we're on. You'll, you can see it on your screen right now. Um, let's speed this up. Austrians have sent a gentleman, it looks like they're going after our university, to try and steal our technology. Might have to duel them. Prussians. Oh, I forgot. Trade route with the Prussians. Now, trade routes with England and France is going to give us some more perspective on what's going on in the North Sea and the rest of the Baltic Sea. I think I have to do a trade route with uh, Prussia, just, just for the point of raising wealth and income. We need money. Oh, where is that Ottoman army going? Swedish army's moving further away from my border. I love it. Ooh, that's a big fishing port down there. Swedish army's occupying Finland. We have to increase our wealth. Did Afghanistan fall? see their flag if they have them. Okay, Denmark. Ooh, Denmark is blockaded, sweet. Good. How are they making any money? I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. There's the Dagestan army. Uh, Afghanistan is still here. Okay. Where is Sweden getting all that money from? Stockholm has to be worth a fortune. There rain. is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce. Okay. New town has emerged. A lot of new towns. Ooh. We've got a lot of towns we need to develop. Okay, so. Economics. We already built the. We're building fortifications here as part of our northern dis defense strategy. Alright, gentlemen, we want you to keep an eye on what's going on in that northeastern province. They still got good numbers up there. We'll be no match in a war against... well, I don't know. We have to get that right to the coastline. So, let's look at this scenario. Let's get this army. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't attack us there. We got lucky. Alright, so now we've got a pretty good hold on Istanbul. If we destroy that rebel force, looks like they might be increasing in numbers. Um, I don't know. Eventually they'll have to attack us. This army looks tough. Not as tough as that army. Okay. We're looking okay. So, economic development. Well, before we do anything more for economic development, I want the drill school. There it is. Yep, drill school is next on our list. This would be fantastic. 
We get some elite units. Hand Mortar Company. That is a cool unit. They basically have a handheld cannon that they walk with on the battlefield. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Grenadiers. These guys have some pretty good numbers. Huge charge bonus. Wow. For infantry, that's enormous. Yeah, compared to... Well, yeah, it's still pretty good. Um, it's actually better than that cavalry. The Hussars. These guys are tough. These guys are tough. Look at that. Look at the defense. Fifteen. That's better than our land infantry. Beautiful. Morale. Nine. We've got some good numbers here. That is going to shake things up. Troops out of there will shake things up. Okay, so that's the drill school. I'm going to put a check mark next to the drill school. And... Next on the list is a grand opera house in the Ukraine. I like building stuff within the settlement fortifications because they are they can't be raided. We have an opera house there. Uh oh, I don't want a grand opera house. Why would I choose that? I'd rather have a royal observatory. I'm going to put a pin in that for now. I don't want that. Wow. Okay, the next one after that was a thousand dollars for a craft weaver's workshop in Astrakhan. Now, that's debatable because this region, Kazan, just got another village. So it might be more beneficial to build here than in Astrakhan. This area is under threat, though. They're taxing. Ostracon. They're building an uh, opera house here. Okay, so five. Wait a minute, why is that... Oh, that's because we're going to get some technology soon. Okay, so in two turns, we'll have increase in town wealth. Um, okay. So right now we're only getting two from Enlightenment, but in two turns we'll be getting four from Enlightenment. And we are getting two well, from the ministers, two extra uh, growth from the ministers. If we build one of these craft weavers workshops. It's going to be plus seven. Plus seven, plus the six that we will have by time that thing gets built. will give us thirteen per turn, minus the five from taxing. But if we don't tax them right away, they're going to be at 843. Okay. I'm going to build that. I'm going to build that there for now. But this is now on my list as well. For next turn. Mm, how much is that? 860. Hmm. Can I sell technology? Ooh, Prussia. That's right. I need a trade agreement with the Prussians. This will bring in more money. Oh, they do not want the trade agreement. Come on, man, trade with me. Maybe I have to offer them some incentives. Alright, social contract. I wonder if I can get social contract and grab something from them. Prove grenades. Nope. Okay. How about if I give you some money? You know you want some money. 500 gold coin for a trade agreement. Okay. Square formation? I don't want that. Alright, that's ridiculous. We're out of here. Square formation doesn't really do that much good, and it actually ends up costing you more. The line infantry does perfectly fine without square formation against cavalry charges. Alright, let's go for another turn here. So, Prussia didn't want to give us a trade agreement. That is disappointing. Um, we 
still should probably try to get peace with the Ottoman. Ooh, looks like the Dutch have a rebellion force. What happened in the north? Sweden captured the Netherlands. That means the Dutch are defeated. Huh. If the Dutch are defeated, then their overseas possessions are... have folded to rebels. I don't have a fleet, though, at this point. If I had a fleet to get overseas, then I would send them to try to grab some of those Dutch colonies. Looks like the Dutch are out of this game. That was, uh, one of Spain's top allies. Oh no, one of Spain's enemies. Prussian movements. Poland Lithuania took a shot at East Prussia and was repulsed. Look at these Ottomans. I gotta do something. There's another army. There's so many Ottoman armies. Oh, we're gonna have a battle. Ooh. Do I wanna fight the battle? Yes, I do. Well, yes, I do. I do wanna fight this battle. God. I don't wanna fight this battle. Plus, Istanbul has such a big fortress to defend. They're gonna be attacking me from multiple angles. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. If I don't attack, then they're going to lay siege, and that'll be even worse. What's this artillery? I wish I got this artillery out of there. Ugh. Such a difficult decision. Let's see where I am at time. Just going to look at my stopwatch real quick. 22 minutes. Alright, i got to fight it. I don't like this. Probably gonna lose. Here it comes. If we win, it'll be great. That'll be one of the three Ottoman armies defeated. We might be able to even come out and go after the uh, rebel force, which would subdue the uh, cost of the town watch. I guess if we lose, we also don't have to deal with the town watch. And. A lot of uh, the troop upkeep will be uh, reduced, but our southern flank will be wide open to Ottoman threats. I guess I could always give them back Moldova. I don't need that province. I don't want to be at war. <laughs> Not right now. Not with Sweden on my border. Because I know the war with Sweden is going to return. Okay. What is my next expenditure? I want to build a governor mansion. In the enemy Kizom. will try to smash their way in with siege equipment. Yeah. Use your heaviest troops to defend any breach in the walls. And be prepared to sally forth and right. take the fight directly to them. The enemy will try to wipe out all defenders, and if your men rout en masse from the settlement, the battle is over. Okay. Now, there was one point in the wall right there. That's our weak spot. Okay. That's where they're going. I think they'll be attacking. I have people outside the fortress. What are you doing out there? Get inside, you crazy nuts. Actually, I wonder. Field artillery would do more damage on the outside. And the militia behind them. Good support. Yeah, give that a shot. Give that a shot. That might be the end of that uh, demigun regiment. 
It also offers protection for the uh, that weak spot in our wall. Okay. I don't necessarily want the militia on the walls, but I do want them close to the walls. Line of retreat. Okay. Cossacks. I'll try to spread these guys out, I guess. Because there's more ground to cover. I like having them at the corners. They tend to go for the corners. This is going to be too much of a fight. There's too many of them. There's way too many of them. Okay, let's put that right there. That looks good. Yikes, this is going to be ugly. Alright, let's see what happens. Janissary is off on the right flank. Alright, they are coming at us. Ooh, they've got mortars, howitzers. Oh, wow, they're gonna hit that wall. They're sprinting. Looks like there's a couple coming around the left flank. Music. I miss the intensity of the music. I know you guys are hearing it, but I'm not hearing anything. Okay. Orta infantry and melee infantry. Four regiments coming on our left flank. Those melee troops are tough. canister fire from the top. We're going to have to get the militia up here. It's almost ready to get canister shot over here. Yep. This canister shot might be able to repulse these Muslims. Where are... Okay, there's my militia. This is the weakest regiment to send against my artillery. Come on, boys. Oh boy, they're not going to make it. They definitely repulsed. Get back on those guns. Alright, well we definitely repulsed those Muslims, saving the...
this is this is battle. They are storming the fortress here. Successful uh, defense. I can't believe it. Right, these melee troops come over here and let's get the cavalry outside the fortress. Oh, I still have a unit back here and reserve more melee troops, melee infantry. That those howitzers are overshooting our walls. Looks like we got it. Make sure everybody is. All our gunpowder units are switched to fire instead of melee mode. Is that wall looking? 83%. Get off that wall. You're gonna have to get on this side of the wall. And let's put these guys on this side of the wall as well. Everybody moving? They took some heavy tolls. Wow. That one regiment was really reduced down from 108 to 35. And they're eager and confident still. That's good. These walls are definitely going to fold soon. They're going to go down. Let's move this cannon right here. In preparation. And this line of retreat. Down. There's a good chance that they'll be trying to uh, penetrate through a breach in the wall there. But now they're firing in a different direction. Wow. Alright, are we getting any shots in on these guys?
try to get that one infantry out of there. What are you doing? Well, there's two regiments here if we don't get them out. Line infantry. This is crazy. They're firing at the same place that they're trying to same point in the wall that they're trying to storm the wall. This is kind of foolish. What are these guys? Janissaries coming back. Oh. That's a desperate failure. Off guys, good. Where's that cavalry? They're gonna come around and charge these guys. Militia should be enough to deal with this mortar regiment that's already wavering. We don't want the uh, line infantry in arms way. They're they're more expensive. Well, we've got some guys on the ground here. I told you guys not to do that. You did not listen. Ooh, you got somebody there. They're still tough. There's one regiment on the wall. Looks like we've uh, pretty much defended this wall pretty successfully. A lot of damage, a lot of damage done to the wall. Ooh, they found a spot where there's nobody. Right, get that on there. They're just trying to pour volleys. I am baffled at these strategy tactics. Tactics of these. Uh, it's AI. Terribly poor tactics sometimes. My cavalry's gonna go after that howitzer. Alright, oh damn, there goes. Ooh, we lost a regiment there. That was a big chunk in the wall. We lost an entire regiment there, it looks like. Cossack infantry, take that building. Wow, that was huge. All right, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of holes in these in the walls of Istanbul before this is over. Oh, they are really pounding away there too. Oh no, there's only 90%. I gotta get these guys out of there. That's indestructible. That's 90%. All right, that's our cavalry. They should be able to take out this mortar so they can't do any more damage. And... Here comes the artillery. We need this artillery to get into place so they can fire a canister shot right there into their ranks. Ooh, they're running now. Haha! <laughs> the sight of the artillery sent them running. That's victory. Oh, wow. That was a tough one. I didn't think I was going to win. Okay. Well, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to hold that fortress. I guess we'll need the artillery down there now.
Okay, they deployed 1300. They lost 824 with 484 remaining. We've got 989 remaining. There's another army out there. Well fought battle. Okay. I gotta try to make peace with these Ottomans somehow. I'll make them that Bulgaria offer again, I think. Because I'll accept that. That's a good deal for me. Okay, now these forces are consolidating. Sweden is consolidating their forces. And I guess Denmark's got a good hold on them. If they can't build any more ships, or if they're not going to build any more ships... They could build ships in the fish port, in the fisheries, but they're not, they can only build, like, galleys there, I think. I gotta check out Sweden's naval situation. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, great, I'm gonna deal with this one. Okay, this should be a lot easier. This should be a lot easier. Should be quicker. I'm thinking this is going to be the last battle for this episode. The last defense of Istanbul for this time, for tonight. I don't know how much longer this province is going to hold. I mean, if you got holes in the walls, yes, these are places for the infantry to penetrate. But if you've got artillery, then, and you got canister shot, you can hold them off pretty well. I think I might need some more militia down there. Or more, uh, Cossack line infantry. That would be able to hold those, uh, choke points pretty well. Even though they're not good at defense. I don't know. Istanbul, I mean, they're gonna keep on... Muslims are gonna keep on attacking this position. And they're really just gonna fold. What is that? What are you doing there? Don't do that. That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, actually, I want them in a position... I want the foot artillery in a position where they can be moved. The demiguns are fine. Alright, we lost, I think, two of the, we lost two of our line infantry, those two small ones that were on the wall there, they basically were, uh, they fell in the battle. Okay, nobody outside the floor, right? Just people inside at this point. Cavalry. I want them close. Might as well put the melee troops behind them. And give me another group of melee troops on that wall. I need the rifle units on the walls. Because they can do damage as people are approaching. That's good. Cover that. I don't think there's any artillery in this one, so we don't have to worry about uh, walls falling down. And we'll keep one in reserve nearby there. One in reserve by the corner. Okay. Yeah, there's no artillery, so I don't worry about the walls falling down. These guys are going to fold pretty quickly. Look at Istanbul. Istanbul is taking a toll. Ha! That rhyme. Formerly Constantinople. And the Muslims used cannons to knock down the walls. And, uh, I think it was 1456, I want to take a guess. And now the Russians, in our scenario, have retaken Istanbul. 
claim it for the Eastern Orthodox. They're actually going for that uh, choke point there. They're going for the breach in the wall. They're going to be met with an unpleasant surprise. A canister shot from Demi Guns, which is right at that breach, actually. Look at these guys, Muslims. These are the rebels. Ooh, nice. If we can get rid of these rebels. Get rid of the rebels, and that will improve our uh, reduce our town watch. Looks like they didn't hit those guys. Boom! Done. Not coming into this bridge. And on the other side of the wall, we've got melee troops for you. Yeah, you're not getting in this war. I don't think so. Muslim rebels. Delhi horsemen. They're trying to get into the breach. Click on them. Now they're starting to retreat. Take them head on. Let's get some line infantry on this wall, maybe we can get some shot. Into those positions. I need that cavalry to chase down these guys. Oh, no, don't go that way. Oh, God. I did not want you to go that way. Oh, that's a disaster. Let's bring him back over here. Coming through that hole. That'll be fine. There we go. Now we get some shot. Oh, 
Let's go get those guys, come on. Seven guys on that wall. That's a, that's a good shot. Chase these guys down. Alright, what's going on with this artillery? They can't get a shot on them. So, we're gonna have this melee troops go after them. Russian militia, melee troops. You're going a little slow there. Come on, man, take it. Here we go. Oh, they're swinging. Leader, there he goes, he falls. Alright, a couple of them going down there. Get my general ready. ready. The general can run and take down those Muslims that are routing up there. While the militia occupies the Delhi horsemen. Yeah, they just keep taking them down there. Got the long spears, spear axes. Should be able to take down these horsemen. Decisive victory. Okay, hopefully that finished off the rebels, and that'll help us. Ninety-four remaining. Yeah, they might have one or two left. Yeah, they got a couple. Can't get rid of these rebels. There is unused land suitable for farming. Okay. Well, we have a trait gained. Mistress for one of our ministers. And a strong defender. That's going to help. We'll keep that guy down there. Menshikov. Okay. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this round. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.